Hey, this is Angie. And I'm Ryan. And we are Happy, Happy Healthy, Healthy Vegan. Vegan. So last month, some of you guys wrote us asking if we'd seen the stories coming out about how like 32 congressmen had written a letter to the FDA asking them to enforce the legal definition of milk on plant-based milk alternatives. Well, before the FDA could even respond, Senator Tammy Baldwin from Wisconsin has introduced the Dairy Pride Act. <sighs> Under the Dairy Pride Act drafted by Senator Tammy Baldwin, the FDA would have to crack down on products that use terms like milk or cheese in a way that's misleading. Misleading? It literally had a picture of nuts on that almond milk they showed! If you go to the dairy shelf in any store you see various imitations of dairy such as almond milk, soy milk, rice milk. Imitation? Really? Plant-based milks are not imitations, they're alternatives. And you would want an alternative to cow's milk for all sorts of reasons, which we'll get into in this video. And FDA really has not um, enforced that particular regula regulation and it has allowed some of these products to be on the store shelves. All right, what this milk lobbyist is referring to is this old definition from the 30s, how milk is a secretion that only can come from a healthy cow. And then you also couldn't have goat's milk or sheep's milk, none of which I'm not lobbying for any of those things. Or human milk. Oh, there you go. But uh, don't even get me started on healthy cows in today's day and age of dairy farming. And Mr. Milk Lobbyist here says these plant-based milks should not even be allowed on store shelves. It kind of sounds that way from what he said. Yeah. In Wisconsin, the dairy and agriculture industry generates about 43 billion a year. Those supporting the reform say it's also about protecting their product and its image. Oh, so the truth's starting to come out. Yeah, it seems the Dairy Pride Act is all about the almighty dollar. I think labeling is, is important, um, true labeling. Um, I'm a mother, I am a wife, and I want to make sure that what I am purchasing in the supermarket is is good for my family. Good for your family? Good? I mean, if you look up good, it says wholesome, free of disease, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Let's see just how good milk really is for your family. The latest meta-analysis of all the best case control studies ever done on the matter concludes that milk consumption is a risk factor for prostate cancer. An even newer study suggests that milk intake during adolescence may be particularly risky in terms of potentially setting one up for cancer later in life. So if this farmer lobbyist were actually concerned about the health of her family, she would switch her from cow's milk to almond milk. They found that cow's milk stimulated the growth of human prostate cancer cells in each of 14 separate experiments, producing an average increase in cancer growth rate of over 30%. In contrast, almond milk suppressed the growth of these cancer cells by over 30%. Whoa, I hadn't even heard that fact until just now. That is amazing. And I'm sure the lobbyist farmer lady has not heard of that either, but it goes beyond <laughs> prostate cancer. There's a whole other set of health risks associated with having cow's milk. 100,000 men and women followed for up to 20 years. What did they find? Milk drinking women had, the high, had higher rates of death, more heart disease, significantly more cancer for each glass of milk. Three glasses a day was associated with nearly twice the risk of death, and they had significantly more bone and hip fractures, too. Whoa, that is really sobering. So I think it's patently obvious that it's not like the government is pushing for the use of real <laughs> milk products because they're so healthful. No, far from it. There's actually something else that's driving the momentum for them to try to pass this bill. Yeah, and why is it happening now in 2017? Considering plant-based milks have been out for decades. What's up? The act would require the FDA to enforce naming standards. When you say milk, we mean a dairy product. And uh, we mean quality, and we need uh, particular nutritional standards. And you've got to apply the law uh, and make sure that these imitators uh, don't, um, don't get to get away with uh, misleading the consumer. Misleading? There's nothing misleading about the packaging <laughs> of almond milk, soy milk, rice milk, coconut milk, hemp milk. It says exactly what it is on the label. It's got all the health information on the back. And half the time, I have to go to a separate section in the store to buy it. They act like there's vitamin D fortified milk and right next to it's soy milk. And I can't tell the difference. Oh, gee, they almost come from cows, right? It's all in the milk section. <laughs> Don't get to get away with uh, misleading the consumer and cutting into dairy producers' uh, revenue. 
Oh, oh profits. Mm -hmm. And several farmers say the mislabeling is frustrating, especially because they have the potential to lose sales. Potential? It's already happening. The American dairy industry sold 11% less milk this year than it did the previous year. And Americans are drinking about 40% less milk now than they were several decades ago. Yeah, on top of that, over the last five years, the consumption of plant-based alternative milks has gone up 250%. Take that. Senator Baldwin says the act will stop misleading consumers at the grocery store about the products they're buying. So really, for five years, we were misled. We thought we were really drinking cow's milk, huh? <sighs> I mean, there are so many reasons why people would be turning to alternative plant-based milks now instead of dairy milk, not least of which is lactose intolerance. Yeah, around 65% of the human population is lactose intolerant. And as an interesting side note, uh, well-known dairy creamer company Coffee Mate just released a line of vegan creamers because... They're trying to deceive people, right? <laughs> yes. No, I love what they said in their PR. They said, um, yes, to meet changing consumer demands and lifestyles, we know the increasing popularity of plant-based non-dairy creamers is not just a trend, but a consumer preference preference which, that's why which the milk industry completely that denies stuff. that consumer preferences actually might prefer not to have their crap yes what's really stupid and obvious is that soy milk and almond milk those are very obvious descriptions of what they are there's absolutely no confusion no human in the world would think they're drinking cow's milk when they buy something called almond milk no. and what's obvious to all you guys and us which makes us so frustrated and this is just an obvious case of interference market no. interference funded by here big dairy to get the government to fight their battles for them because they're losing yeah. yeah this totally smacks of that whole story we followed with uh, Unilever trying to get the FDA to step in and tell vegan mayonnaise manufacturers that real mayo must include eggs. According to another archaic definition. Yeah, this is exactly the same thing. I still can't believe that we're wasting taxpayers' money trying to get the government to legislate against businesses in the vegan sector. So what do you guys think? Is it completely obvious what's going on here? Let us know down below. Yeah, so we'll definitely be reporting on this story as it, you know, is definitely going to be evolving. And so if you guys see any really good articles, you can let us know in the links down below. We'll read them, follow up on them. If you see any great uh, news clips here on YouTube, let us know. We'll check them out. Uh, so like this video if you're into it, share it with a friend. Uh, stay subscribed for more vegan content from the two of us here at Happy Healthy Vegan. And until next time, keep, keep it, it carved, baby. Keep, keep it, it carved. carved.